let's do some quick examples of indefinite integrals. The integral of 5 dx, there's no x's in here. And if you remember that when you took the derivative of, say, 5x, the x would just go away and you would just get that constant out front. So that's one reason that this is 5x plus c, right? We're always adding plus c. Um, or you could think about there being like an x to the 0 there. And then if you added 1 to the power and divided by the new power of x, you would get this 5x to the first over 1, if you'd like to think about it that way. Either way, let's move on. The integral of e to the x dx. Now you have to recall that the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So that means the integral of e to the x is e to the x, or the antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x, plus c, always plus c when we're doing indefinite integrals. This one's a little different because it has two different parts, and we can do piecewise integration just the same as we did piecewise differentiation. And you'll notice that I wrote parentheses around this because this dx applies to both of these terms. But I'll just do the regular antiderivative, antiderivatives on both of these. x to the fourth, I add 1 to the power, and I divide by the new power, I keep the constant. 10x, keep the constant, I add 1 to the power, I divide by the new power, plus c, always plus c. I can clean this up, five over, 25 over 5 is 5x to the fifth, 10 over 2 is 5x squared plus c.